All right, let us give you some examples of a scaffold tape by Gatsky's sociocultural theory. Mr. Smith is teaching his students to use context clues to recognize unfamiliar words when they read. Since this is a brand new task, he creates sentences with keywords missing, but includes the first letter of the missing word. This provides his students with just enough structure to complete the task. As they get better at this, he eventually is able to drop the last letter or the first letter, and then his students are able to read the sentence just using context clues. Example number two, I'm a wrestling coach. Teach my wrestlers a complicated move that involves many different steps. First, I demonstrate the move so they can see what it looks like, but if I would then just tell them to go try it, I'd frustrate about 80% of them. Instead, I move, break the move into four parts and verbally guide them through each step. Step one, step two, step three. I take them through the move several times, gradually speeding up, and I can see if they get it or not. They go through it with a buddy. Finally, I'm able to say, all right, practice five of them or so on your own. Independent practice. Example number three. Ms. Hansen is teaching long division to her students, just like Coach Johnson. She demonstrates the strategy first, then hands out scratch paper or thinking paper and verbally guides her through students through each step as she completes the problem on the board. Step one, step two, step Three, scaffolding and the zone of proximal development are important concepts for the success of any sort of teaching, whether it's in music, athletics, drama, for insects, business, math, or any curriculum area. You find out where students are at and then get out a little in front of them with some supports to help them succeed. This is an example of the skills lesson plan, the basic lesson plan, based on the elements of effective skills instruction researched by Michael Presley. There's been a whole bunch of other people. It includes a purpose statement. This is for teaching a skill. The purpose of this lesson is students will learn how to insert skill here. There is input. You provide instruction and modeling. These are the steps. Watch me as I do it. This is the important part. The guided practice or the scaffolding. You take the whole group through the skill and gradually take away supports. That gives you an, uh, uh, a chance to do some formative assessment. Assessment is learning as forming to see if they're getting it. Finally, independent practice or the activity where students practice what they have already learned by themselves. This is often homework or seat work. Body of research, Jerry Brophy, says that if you want to enhance learning, this independent practice, homework, seat work, should be able to be completed with about a 95 to a 100% success ratio, not ratio. And again, it's practice of what has already been learned. This is not the place to challenge them. The goal of homework is to help them learn, to practice what you have already done in class. It's not to challenge them or measure them or try to get a nice dispersion of scores. It is to teach them and help them learn. We need more teachers and fewer measurers. That is the end of my three-part series on Vygotsky's sociocultural theory of learning. Thinking develops from the outside in.